channel, not because they make a product that looks tough, but because they make a product that is tough. And they are really dedicated to making great locking systems for your trailer. Again, and I'm going to re-emphasize this from the last video I did on one of their locks. You know, you send a lock off to an expert like lock picking lawyer or a professional locksmith, you know, I would kind of expect them to be able to crack some locks. That's kind of their job. But for the average person who's looking for an easy target, putting one of these on your trailer can really discourage them. And you know, anybody who is dedicated with enough time and enough noise in an environment that's not secure or where somebody might not hear them, they can probably come and get your trailer with, you know, a sawzall or whatever other equipment they want to bring out there, a grinding wheel. But the reality behind most locking systems are that they're deterrents. They're not necessarily something that's going to guarantee whatever you have isn't going to get stolen. I put my trust in Fort Knox because their product is just built really well. It's a small company. They definitely, I think, take a lot of pride in what they do. They use heavy gauge steel. They use really nice locking systems, abloy cylinders. I mean, they try to do, I believe, as best they can to produce a product that is least likely to be stolen if it has one of their locks on it. Now I know there's other great brands of locks out there, but the one that I like and the one that I secure my trailers with is Fort Knox Lock. So I definitely wanna give them a huge shout out. So the two locks that you're looking at in front of you are really designed for one system. They're designed to work on a gooseneck. The challenge you have is there's generally two different ways to get into a gooseneck. And the first one is to just remove the entire sleeve that goes inside of the part that's welded onto the trailer. And it's usually connected by a pin as well as a couple set screws. So once those set screws are torqued down, you really can't remove it. It would be very, very difficult to remove it. So they give you two locks, one to protect the set screw and then one to protect the coupler itself. And I think that's a really good strategy. Plus you have two cylinders to lock it up as well. So to get through the system, it's gonna take a little bit of time and it's gonna take a lot of noise. And that's kind of what the purpose of this system is, is that it deters someone, makes them move on to an easier target Target, especially for people who don't lock up their trailers, you know, those are pretty easy targets. Okay, so we've switched to a gooseneck connection. This is simply because this is how we had it towed down here. The hotshot driver who delivered it uses a gooseneck hitch, and I have the fifth wheel pin box connection that goes inside of here as well. But this is what we're going to secure for now. Once you've loosened this screw right here, just go ahead and unscrew the whole thing. Then you're going to take this little sleeve right here, put it over your screw like this, put your screw back in and tighten it all the way down. So you're going to torque this back down. So once this is torqued back down, you're then going to reposition your nut right here. Okay, once you have that there, you simply take the smaller of the two locks and you're gonna cover it up. So I'm gonna put this right here, close it up like that. And as you can see, you don't have access to that bolt anymore. All right, and that's it. So as you can see, it surrounds that area. There's no access to that bolt any longer which means you won't be able to take that set screw out and you won't be able to pull the sleeve out from this portion of it. So that is how that works. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is put the coupler lock on. So the coupler lock is essentially a vault that goes around the actual gooseneck coupler. You're just gonna put it over the end, close it up and put the lock on it. Just like that. As you can see, it completely encases the coupler so there's no easy way to get to it. And then all I have to do is take my lock and lock it up. So now I have a trailer that has two locks on it, one for the set screw, one for the coupler, and this is just added protection. It's added deterrent. It is designed to just keep my trailer a little safer so somebody doesn't try to get to it. Love the fact that I have my logo on the back, which also kind of helps, I believe. All right, guys, real quickly, I've had a lot of folks that wanted to know the specific build I had done on this trailer, and they wanted to know if they could do it themselves. So I'm gonna go over the spec sheet real quick. This is the seven by 17 plus six 
foot trailer. It's the low boy trailer. It's the 20K built trailer. Had it derated to 12,000 pounds. It has the hydraulic jacks. It has the upgraded to 102 inch wide drive over fenders. I got the cross members on 12 inch centers. That's actually pretty rare on these trailers. Most of them are 16. I got the eighth inch diamond plate steel deck. I got the toolbox in the uprights. Plus, they built me a toolbox that goes on the deck to hold all my chains and everything. I got the 8K Warren winch with the uh, flush mount roller on the tilt edge, which is the little roller on the edge of the tilt portion right there. Um, I got the two work lights up top, the kingpin coupler, I have the gooseneck coupler on right now, uh, the aluminum Alcoa spare wheel and tire, as well as the 18 ply tires and the red paint that matches the red paint I had on the dump trailer. So that is the specific build I have on this, and absolutely think it looks gorgeous. If you didn't see the customization they did for me, they made it a very big truck, big RV specific trailer. They built this custom toolbox right here. I actually drew up the dimensions and they just built it and threw it on there, which was awesome. Solar panel mounted up here. Got the spare tire with the Alcoa wheel, the 8K Warren winch, big toolbox up front for the dual batteries and the hydraulic setup, as well as the Alcoa wheels, 18 fly J rated tires back here. Overall, this is a phenomenal trailer and they built it really well. Just wanted to do a quick overview of the trailer because I know a lot of people were asking what the specifics were and how I ordered it.